In the previous video, I have shown you how to record every incoming email inside of uh, Google Sheets. In this video, I will show you how also to add attachments and save those attachments inside of your Google Drive. If you would like to see the first part of the video, check out the link in the description below. Let's get to it. So we will continue from the part one where we left off. So we need to have a folder inside of our Google Drive when we are having a Google Sheet containing all the incoming emails. So this is where we are receiving our emails. This is also where we will be saving our attachment. Here we have already created a column for attachments and what we will do, we will adjust our existing scenario to add attachments to it. Let's for the time being remove the filter. As we can see on the details of data from Gmail, there is already a data field called attachment, but it's an array. Array, this means there can be multiple attachments, multiple data fields. If there is an array to handle this inside of Integromat, we're going to use iterator, which will break down the array into individual parts. So we take a new iterator and we put it into in the middle. And the input to the iterator will be the array. So we'll take the array, at array called attachments. Okay, let's just disconnect the Google Sheet module for a moment to show you how this will work. And let's send ourselves an email with two attachments. So I'll be using the same email as I have sent before. I'll just add two attachments to it. So here are two attachments. One of them is fairly small. It's a picture and another one is rather sizable, three megabytes, so that we can see the difference in different um, attachments and some text. Let's click run anyway. And now we can see that we actually have received from this single email two outputs. One of them is the first attachment and the second output is the second attachment. So we can individually save them, upload them into Google Drive. So let's add the Google Drive module. We're going to select upload the file. We need to select a folder. We will select from the list and we'll select email capture the folder that we created. As we can see, our upload module is already mapped with the iterator because it recognized that the iterator is returning files. So we don't have to map it manually. We can just follow the default setting. So we'll click OK. And right now, this will create a mapping that will link and upload our files to Google Drive. So, so that we can get those files inside of Google Sheets, we need to do one more thing. Uh, because this spreads out the array into multiple parts, we would end up for every individual item creating additional row, which in our case, we want to receive that in a single row. We don't want to split out one attachment per one row. So to combine this again into a one, line we'll use array aggregator and we'll put it in between as well here and here we'll select which will be the source module to aggregate so the iterator was splitting the attachment so we'll select it again to combine it all right so now we are combining them into one but we want to return the link to the file that we have uploaded so here inside of fields to aggregate we need to find the web view link field we're selecting web view link okay and let's see again what is this returning for us let's send um, another email i'll just forward this so this will return us an array with two items inside called web link, and this will be the link where we can actually find our uploaded attachment. So this is our link to our uploaded attachment. 
and we can also see those attachments inside of the folder that we have created. Now the final part is to convert this array into a single line of text. So here we're going to use a little bit of um, formulas from Integromat and I'll just show you a trick how to test formulas and see the output. So we will use here its set variable. We we'll call it a test and what we want to do we want to use a map function. So we want to use functions working with arrays and we want to use map. And here's all the description, but what this function does, it basically allows us to convert a complex array like this one into a single one. So we're using map and this array, and we want to access web view link from that. So let's use web view link. Okay. Let's repeat the email. Again, to attachments. And we can see we are getting here a simpler array. So right now we have only two objects. So what we need to do, we need to combine those two objects. And to do that, we will use another formula from here, which is called join. And in the description of every formula we know we can see exactly what it does so you don't have to remember by heart what it's doing. So we are joining the first array which is here and we want to combine this with a new line so we want to have an enter between each of the email addresses, email addresses, URL addresses. Okay let's test it again. All right, so we can see that we are receiving a single test field that looks like this, which is correct. So we are just getting rid of this module, copy all. We have just used this module to test and see how the formula will look like before we add this inside of Google Sheets. It's slightly easier to test it this way, so you don't have to run the whole scenario with Google Sheets. So now we can go back to attachments and we can paste the formula that we have created. Auto align. Let's send email again. And now we can see that the new email has been added over here. And in the attachment field, we are having two links which go to each of the attachments here. So you can, you can test it out. make the field slightly bigger so we can see that here we are having two attachments all right and this way you can upload unlimited number of attachments to your um, to your Gmail if that formula gets a little bit too uh, too much for you there is also a simpler way of doing this it's not exactly accurate it's not exactly accurate because you might lose some of the attachments as you notice we put here the attachments in one line but what would happen if you would select them individually and you would select web view link you would receive only one of the attachments so that would be the first item that arrived but what you can also do double click on this uh, link here and then change which item from the array it should be so it could be two it could be three four so this way up to four attachment you can receive fine if you get fine if you get five attachments the fifth one will be lost this is why the first method is a little bit more safe And you can see that the new email has arrived. Here in the attachment column, you have all the attachments listed. And here you are having individually each of the attachments in separate column.
and you can also find all of those attachments inside of your folder. And it doesn't really matter for Google whether they have the same names or not, because they'll be placed here either way. All right, I hope this scenario was useful for you, and if you like it, please uh, subscribe. Thank you, guys.